Welcome back to Maniacal. Music musings. I am your host, Jeremy, as always. And tonight, we are talking about a topic that I love dearly. And of course, I mean, like the name says, it says it all. So no need for anyone to me. But do you have us playing in the background? Me? No. Yeah. That's fucking weird. I'm hearing weird background noises. But I know. Like, are we hearing echoing like we were earlier? I was for a second, but it's gone now. But anyway, okay. anyway, we are here tonight to do the wrestling theme songs bracket in a one on one for the first time. The mouthy bastard from Bracket Bastards, Jamie, has come down to tackle both parts of this amazing bracket. And I am, <laughs> I don't, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes right now because I did this bracket once and I was not. <laughs> it was a, not an easy bracket to choose in. It really wasn't in most cases, but we will do this and we will love it. And For sure. Never fear, audience. Your favorite co-host is watching from his computer, I believe, or phone right now. So we'll let him. if he wants to try and tell, and tell Jamie to go F off because she made some bad choices, he can. Oh, he has what? Wow. Wow. We're going there already, Jeremy. Come on now. Come on. I ain't going to be that bad. We all know Chancey has his opinions. You mean to choose all the bad ones? Is that what it is? No, I just know Chancey has his <laughs> fucking opinions because he's a Chancey. Oh, well, good. But, can't see. Of course, of course. But he, he respects my opinions. Come on. Mm. We're good. Let's go. Let's go. But the way the way it's gonna work, audience, is since this is a this is a two part or one kind of thing, we're gonna tackle round one and both the first and second part side by side, and then we'll basically go from there and keep going in that way. So she's gonna do a lot of round one, put it that way. Oh, so we're doing part one, round one, and part two, round one. Yep. We're going oh my Jesus! Bottle. Let me get my other book out and ready to go. We're gonna indubitably if that is Chancy. Miss you, guys. Right. But yeah, right, I was gonna. Are I, ready. I, I was gonna suggest Chancy jump on and we do a three. Uh, uh, a one three, on three way. For this. Oh, I mean, in your words, not mine. But uh, that would take forever, and I don't have all night here. So let's get. It would not take over forever. This. He could jump in whenever he wants. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's free. But whatever works. The first matchup you are going to have mm. is number four. Is number fourteen, Goldberg's invasion slash Who's Next by Christian Pouye versus number twenty nine. Batista's I Walk Alone by Saliva. Uh, I'm definitely more of a Batista fan. I don't mind some of the matches with Goldberg, so I don't mind him and his entrance. But I don't really care for the song as much as I like Saliva. There's something about how Saliva fits Batista a little bit better. Just a little bit. Now, like, I don't know. It just works good. Because he always looks like he's covered in fucking saliva. That's why. Oh, my Jesus. Well, there's just something about it. Like, um, you could tell when the song's right for the person. So, if I'm thinking right on that one, I mean, we'll pull up songs as needed, which I should just have those ready anyways. But, yeah, I mean, I'm going Batista. Well, <laughs> I don't think Batista's going to make it far, but... That might be <laughs> Maybe <choice>. not. Because <laughs> the next matchup is one of those matchups that shouldn't be in round one, but is. And it's number 13, Triple H in China's My Time by Jim Johnson. <laughs> versus number 28, John Cena's My Time is Now by John Cena and the Trademark. Okay. I... So I don't remember... My time very well. Let me see. It was it, it was the it was the in between DX periods. I got pulled up. One two. It's on. It was my favorite Triple H theme song ever. Not a bad beat. Oh. Uh. That's what, when I got into wrestling, that's what he was coming out to. Okay, I'm going to have to say, because I'm not a huge John Cena fan, 
I actually like the beat for my time. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Yeah, it, yeah. It was the Triple H China era before Stephanie, Stephanie McMahon came around. Right. Basically. I totally spelled my time with a Y. <laughs> Not right, but oh well. <laughs> Love it. This next matchup is totally a chancy matchup in a way. It's number 12. Ric Flair's also Sprock Zanathustas by, oh. Richard, by Richard Strauss versus number 27, Mr. Perfect's Perfection by Jim Johnston. Mr. Perfect's Perfection? Is that what that was? Oh. Yes. And Chancey's giving me gripe for picking Triple H, saying that's my favorite theme song my Triple, Triple H came out to. <laughs> you would pick it over to Motorhead, Jeremy. <laughs> Well, we'll see if Jamie does eventually, so if it gets that far, we'll see. Not really into Mr. Perfect's entrance. Not yeah, really in the Ric Flair's either, but the rendition of Ric Flair's to uh, his daughter is why I'm kind of maybe starting to appreciate Ric Flair's more, so it's going to be Ric Flair for me. Woo! I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Rick Flair won the group one, so we'll see. Um, yeah, to be quite honest with you, I think he did too, which I wasn't in for and I wasn't there for it then. But like I said, my appreciation for Charlotte Flair lately has uh, made more interest and more appreciation to the man itself. So whatever. <laughs> I change my mind sometimes, okay? Yep. <laughs> and that means Rick Flair is gonna be facing in the second round either number eleven. Edges Metalingus by Alter Bridge. <gasps> or number 26, Harlem Heat's Rap Sheet by Rene, Rene DeWall and Didier Leglis. Oh, E-Z. It's Edge. Yeah, it should be easy. <laughs> yeah, it's Edge. It's, yeah, not Harlem Heat. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, I mean, if it was Booker T's themed version of that song, then that's a different story. But maybe, um, maybe. But Ooh, all right. so many songs is great. Sorry. Edge versus Ric Flair in the next round. That's gonna be a fun one. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a good one, right? But that means the next matchup is number ten. Chris Jericho's "Break the Walls Down" by Jim Johnston versus number twenty-five. CM Punk's This Fire Burns by Kill Twitch Engage. Oh, um, I think I don't really don't don't think I remember CM Punk's as well as I remember Chris Jericho's right away. So, what was Jim? What was his called again? Break the walls down. Break the walls down. Okay. It was his original um, WWE theme song. Yeah. I kind of liked his entrance a little bit, but I also like CM Punk's. I'm going to go with Chris Jericho. I'm just going to do it. Just going to yeah, go I, for it. I will put it on record once again. I love this Fire Burns by Kill Switch Engage. I love that song. So it was, my, it was my introduction to Kill Switch Engage when I heard CM Punk's theme song for the first time. So. It's not a bad song. It really isn't. It's it's a great song. Don't get I Kill Switch Engage is a favorite of mine, but it's I don't know. It's not because of CM Punk recently or anything like that either. It just I guess I like the beat for Jericho's when he comes out. It's just easier to remember for me. Well, to see who Chris Jericho's gonna face, it's a battle of what I could would I would call two of my theme songs. And it's number nine. HBK Sexy Boy by Jimmy Hart and JJ McGuire versus number 24, Brock Lesnar's Next Big Thing by Jim Johnston. <laughs> Next Big Thing? Um, honestly, wow, I can't spell today. This may be and why I, can, I wanted to do everything earlier so I have I can to see, spell. I could see Chansey right now fucking being like, Jesus Christ, Jeremy, Jesus Christ. I, I mean, I'm sorry. We did a lot of Sexy Boy. A lot of that. I got to thank um, Hart 
for being a part of that song, Jimmy Hart, for doing the the girls sat singing and you know just making the song more fun. We laughed about it together at his last appearance, but um, no, not sexy boy. I'm sorry, it's going to Brock Lesnar. I mean, who wouldn't? Uh, Shannon would. Sh Shan Shannon would it because it Brock Lesnar makes her asshole itchy apparently. Oh, see, I can't see any comments. No, no. Makes oh no, no, that was the that that was the comment. That's what she said in the original. But Shanty is said. Oh, yeah. well, that's what she said in the original because I was gonna say get some preparation Triple H for her ass, <laughs> candy <laughs> ass. Uh, well, Brock Lesnar versus Chris Jericho. That's actually a good matchup next next round. Yeah, but, to be honest, it it is. But right right now, you're gonna be facing a battle of the stable themes. Oh, it's number eight. NWO's Rock House by Five, Five Alarm Music versus number 23, Evolution's Line in the Sand by Motorhead. Um, honestly, it's going to probably be Motorhead. I. I'm not, yeah. of, I'm not I'm not big fan of either, but to me, NW, NWO is just way more iconic. It's iconic, but I I like the entrance better for evolution. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not you're not you're going by theme songs here, not by the entrance. I'm going by the song and the entrance. I'm going because sometimes <laughs> the entrance brought light to a part of the song I wasn't noticing or that I was, and that's my focal point of the whole song. It that it could very well be that. So the the entrance to the song makes a difference for me. Well, you now have to do your first two play-ins of the bracket so far. And uh, okay. The first play-in is a battle of the seas. You got number 30, CM Punk's Cult of Personality by Living Color versus number 34, Cactus Jack's Whole Lot of Groove. <laughs> Cactus Jack. <laughs> Um, I have to say, because CM Punk's had a few of them, so. Well, it's, I mean, it's called the personality. You should know that song without CM Punk being involved. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm just not sure that I really like it. I do, I do, but Cactus Jack is kind of fun, too. I don't. When did they come in on Cult of Personality here? I don't know. I'm gonna go with CM Punk on this one. Yeah, Chanty brought that album on the show once, actually, because I, I think it's the only Living Color album we actually ever had in the show so far. But oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I like Cactus Jack. I just had to really think about it. It was like, am I voting? I'm. I'm not voting against Cactus Jack. I'm voting against the music. <laughs> Exactly. That's my reason. Exactly. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, to, to face that in round one, the second play in, it's either number 31, the Sandman, Enter Sandman by Metallica, versus 35, Dudley Boys, We're Coming Down by Jim Johnston. Um, it's going to. Sorry, I had to play Dudley Boys. This is the thing, so I'm going off the of music. I freaking like the Dudley Boys. Like that entrance song. And I like Inner Sandman because I listened to that song. I like went bowling and had that as my entrance song. Like I was some Billy Badass with a bowling ball. Um damn it. Enter Sandman, let's just do it. All right. And that means you got Metal Band versus Metal Band because that means the last matchup in this part of round one is CM Punk's Cult of Personality by Living Color versus the Sandman's Enter Sandman by Metallica. You know what? I'm just going to do CM Punk because that's... I had a hard time with that last decision. Not that I'm having voters' remorse by any means, but 
I'm going to go with Cult of Personality because that is just like a classic song for me in general. So for CM Punk to do it, I'm not saying there could have been someone better, but I feel like that fit him pretty good. Honestly, it should have been Mick Foley with his personalities. But... Yeah, I mean, Mick Foley too, yes, but Mick Foley was also doing other things that were like big and social wise. So I feel like I would have given him more of a badass song than that. So, yeah. well, that means you're going to have Motorhead facing Living Color in the second round. But that brings us down to the bottom of this half around one the lower ranked songs for some reason. I can't explain these rankings, I did not make them. So, <laughs> and Chancey says, Living Color is a great band. Yes. But can't say no to that. Can't. Uh, let's see who you say no to in this one because your first matchup on this bottom half is number 50, Undertaker's American Badass by Kid Rock versus mm -hmm. number 64, Godfather's The Ho Train by Jim Johnston. What? The Godfather what? The Ho Train. Wow. I missed that one on the list. It was on the other part. You got two playlists, remember? Oh, I got two playlists, so it's on the other one. Um, yeah. So, crap. My bad. I didn't get a chance to listen to all of it. Um... So it was, what was the other choice against Undertaker? I'm sorry. Undertaker's American Badass by Kid Rock. Right. Versus, but what was it versus? Godfather's The Ho, the Ho Train. Train. The Ho Train. There we go. I can't. Oh, my God. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Undertaker. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was great. <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, what boy in 2000 era didn't freaking walk around his neighborhood yelling? Every time girls walk by, I'd be like, here comes the ho train. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I didn't hear it a lot. So, hey. Oh, I, I got one of my favorite wrestlers back in the early 2000s. Freaking, I love the idea of a pimp in wrestling. That's awesome. Right. <laughs> the next matchup. He's going to feature one of the same wrestlers again. And it's number 49, Brian Danielson's Final Countdown by Europe versus, <laughs> versus number 63, Undertaker's The Dead Man by Jim Johnston. Um, I want to hear Undertaker's again real quick. <clears throat> It was very short lived after he ended the American Badass theme. Right. They, they, they realized pretty fast they need to go back to the original OG theme song. Yeah, because Jim Johnson, and he's, I'm sorry, but they needed to get over him real quick. Uh, he, no. Actually, most people on the OG bracket are, like said that they should have worked it out with him when they instead of firing him when they did. Well, yeah, but at the same time, he just like, I don't know. He made, he made the greatest theme song for wrestling in history. He did, but he also got a certain level about him that he's got to expand out eventually, and he just seems like he's stuck in his ways. But he does have some iconic stuff. I am going to give it to Undertaker again. Ooh, that did not happen the first time we did this bracket, so that means it's going to be Undertaker versus Undertaker in the second round. Oh, because that's, yeah, that's the Kid Rock American Badass. Shish. Okay. I'm writing that down. <laughs> oh, man. I That's funny. I did that. I didn't it mean is. to. I wasn't noticing. <laughs> just just like one of the Survivor Series, it's Undertaker versus Undertaker. But yeah. <laughs> What's up? All right. The next matchup, though, is number, it's WCW versus WWE, kind of. It's okay. Number 48, it's number 48. Mike Awesome's Awesome Bomb by Jimmy Hart and Howard Helm yeah. versus number 62, Seamus' Written in My Face by Jim Johnston and Sean Jeunesse. Or Sean Jeunesse, how was his name? Uh, I kind of like Seamus. Really like Mike. 
I don't think I ever really saw Mike Awesome wrestle more than once or twice when he came to WWE. They, they dropped him pretty fast. Okay. Mike. This is not the song I was thinking of, though. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go with Seamus. We're going to go with uh, his written in my face. I fucking love Seamus' theme song, so I agree with that. <laughs> but. Yeah, I mean, I like it, too. I just had to double check with the other one because I was like, wait a minute, it's not Miz, it's Mike. It's like, that's different. Okay, sorry. I'm having a brain well, fart moment there. <laughs> well, actually, I don't know if Miz is on this at all. I'm pretty sure he's not. But the next matchup is a me another metal battle. And the first one is number 47, Chris Benoit's Whatever by Our Lady Peace versus number 61, Randy Orton's Burning My Light by Mercy Drive. Um, let's see here. That's kind of dumb. And this is this probably I would like to say wrong mute. Fuck you, Freddy, though you had nothing to do with it. Fuck you, Jeremy. Fuck you, whoever made these rankings. Cause both of I like both of these, and I can't can't not vote. So that's real dumb. Um, Chris Benoit. Oof. Chris Benoit moves on. Oh, Chris Benoit versus Sheamus. That's an interesting matchup, actually. But <sighs> next matchup, though. Number 46, Jake the Snake Roberts, Snake Bit by Jim Johnson versus number 60, Christian's Blood Brother by Jim Johnston. Um, I think I liked Blood Brother better. I'm re-listening to it to make sure since I didn't catch all of this list. Yeah, I think I liked it better than Jake the Snake. Yeah, Jake the Snake is always a little... All the, all, most of the theme songs back in that generation were a little boring. Well, not I even mean, that. It just didn't fit him, I guess you could yeah. say. So, yeah, no, not not Jake the Snakes. We're going to go with Blood Brother on this one. Yeah, well, Blood Brother is very similar to another song that's on this bracket at some point. Oh, okay. But number 45. Next, for, number 45 is, is one of the options to beat Blood Brother in the next round. And it's RVD, Rob Van Dam's Walk by Pantera versus number 59, The Fabulous Freebirds, Bad Street USA by Crossfire. <laughs> Freebirds? Didn't we have an issue with Freebirds and Evolution on the bracket a while back, like a long time ago? I don't that, <laughs> uh, you, you, you probably did in the uh, sta Staples uh, bracket on Bad Street. It was a long time ago. Not, and I I agree with Chanty. You can't be slipping on whatever. That's a solid track. Oh well, yeah, obviously. Not sure that I'm really into Bad Street USA. I'm gonna have to go ahead and go with RVD's Walk. Which means it'll be RVD versus Christian in the okay. next round. But this next matchup is. <laughs> Kind of a order of events. It's number 44, Jack Swagger's Get On Your Knees by Age Against the Machine. And it's going against number 58, Mid Midnight Expresses The Chase by Marauder. Oh, no. Again with this beat. I can't. Nope. We're going to go Get On Your Knees. If you insist. That's what he said. That's what he does when she insists. But <laughs> <laughs> right, Chancy. But right. that, we're right, we're down to the last two play in matchups on this side of round one to determine the final okay. match of this side of round one. Oh man. For, uh, we got for, another play ins on this. Oh, there's eight, there's eight planes in this whole thing for both. If you since we're doing both sides, but oh my god, first, we got a lot of work today, folks. Oh, we're getting through it pretty fast, actually. 
But yeah, we are. But I'm like, this is a lot of writing down, bud. I'm not like looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> the first play matchup is oof, one of Harvey's favorite songs. Number 65, Coco Beware's Do the Bird by Jimmy Hart and JJ McGuire. Versus right. six, verse, versus, ironically enough, number 69, Xbox Makes Some Noise by Jim Johnson. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead and go, it's all about the money. So I'm going to put that, I'm going to circle that one. Yeah? Is that the one we're doing? No, that's no, not it. That it's Xbox. Xbox. What's yeah. the name of that one? Make some noise. X, makes, okay, sorry. Now let's go. Oh. Got off my list. We're gonna go with um kind of like do the bird there for a minute. Where are all my stuff. I don't know how to use this. This bullshit. Do the bird. Do the bird. Let's do it. And Chancy said 69. Nice. Oh, well, that means 69. I feel like I want a game show on this one. Exactly. It's like it's like going down on the price is right. Yeah. <laughs> but, but to see who's going to be facing Coco, the second play in match is number 66, Ted DiBiase's It's All About the Money by Jimmy Hart and J.J. McGuire versus number 70, Jeff Jarrett's The Chosen One. Jeff Jarrett's The Chosen One? Where's that? Um... I don't see that on the list. There are there were there were a couple that did not make the uh, playlist because I couldn't find them on Spotify, and that was one of them. Oh, it doesn't I make think, it any better. What's it called? The Chosen One by Jeff Jarrett. Uh, Jeff Jarrett song. Oh, for who? Fre oh, apparently Freddie liked the '69. Not not Chancy, but oh. who's who's the Chosen One? Jeff Jarrett. That's who the wrestler is? Yeah. I don't know who that is. Je you know who Jeff Jarrett is. He used to come out with the guitar. And he freaking like, oh, yeah, I was just saying, like, yeah, yeah, you don't know who Jeff Jarrett is? My ass. <laughs> it's all about the money. <laughs> Let's do that one. Uh, it's all about the fucking with me tonight, apparently. <laughs> you, you were like, what? I'm like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm not even a wrestling fan anymore. I, I no, and I, I'm yeah, sure. I'm just messing with you. I shouldn't do that because I, I will get confused later and then you won't answer me. <laughs> exactly. But, well, you just gave yourself for the last matchup on this side of round one, a Woo! Jimmy Hart and a Jimmy Hart and J.J. McGuire match face off. Because it's I'm, 65, Coco Beware's Do the Bird versus yeah. 66, Ted DiBiase's It's All About the Money. Kind of like and do the bird. <laughs> Gonna do the bird. Yeah, let's do it. Do the bird moves on. Do the bird. Yeah. That means that the first half of round one is completely over at this point on both sides wow. of the bracket, or, or both parts of the bracket, I should say. Yeah. But that means that you get to go up back up to the top into the other playlist. Good, good, good. And, oh, okay. And this first matchup is might be a tough one. It's number seven, Bret Hart's Hitman by Jimmy Hart and JJ McGuire versus number 22, Eddie Guerrero's Lie, Cheat, Steal by Jim Johnston. Um, What list are those on? Is that on the other one? Yeah, it is. You're back at the other part. Okay. So we got Hitman, and then we got because they're both. Dang it! That's dumb. Lie, cheat, steal. Mm. I gotta read. I mean, personally, to me, Hitman is more memorable. But yeah, I kind of feel like that one just gets me more excited. I had to listen to it. I had to hear it one more time because I get excited. Like I want to like join in and just have like a groove, good time. 
but Hitman gets me pumped. Like there's sure. a difference in it. So Hitman, Hitman. Yes. Well, this next one might be a little easier. It's number six, <laughs> the, the, the Rocks Know Your Role by Jim Johnston versus number 21, Christians at Last by Jim Johnston. Oh, man. That's fun. And Freddie says life heat steel within some marriage vows he did the other day. Oh, wow. Um, as much That's as I last. enjoy At Last for Christian, I really do. Um, it's going to be Know Your Rule. Oh, you better know your role because it's Bret Hart versus The Rock in round two. Oh, yeah. I wasn't even trying for that. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it in oh, a good way, guys. <laughs> you're going to hate me for this next matchup. I already know. But Oh, great. It's number five, DX's Break It Down by Jim Johnston versus number 20, Edges You Think You Know Me by Jim Johnston. Uh, okay, you yeah. think you know me. What was the other one? Uh, do you think you know me versus Break It Down, the X. Where's Break It Down? It should be on there. That's on Spotify. I fucking know that. <laughs> That's not, I don't see it. Are, the, are you ready? No. Oh, that might be it. It should be called Break It Down. But... Oh, it's Are You Ready? Yeah. Break It Down. I think that one gets me more pumped. I think I, I think it got everybody pumped in the late 90s, early 2000s. <laughs> but it just gets get you pumped, too. That's the problem. I know. Um... Edge. We're going with Edge. Ooh. Yep. Doing it. Well, to find out who Edge is going to face, this next matchup is number four, Hulk Hogan's Real American by Rick Derringer. Versus number 19, Hardy Boys Loaded by Zach Temptis. What is it? It's Hardy Boys Loaded by Zach Temptis, and that one is not in the playlist. Am I supposed to be able It's not on Spotify because I think AEW owns it, but. Well. Or Hardy Boys own it. Yes. Um. Yeah, Hardy Boys. We'll just do that. I'm going blind in that one. I can't remember that one. Uh, <laughs> I can look it up, but we'll do it. I'm good All with right. that. I'm oh, good with like Just like the actor, it's going to be Hardy Boys versus Edge in round two. But Ooh, okay. That's kind of funny. Go the, next matchup, <laughs> the next matchup kind of really happened in wrestling back in the day. And it's number three, Triple H is the game by Motorhead. Versus number 18, <laughs> New Age Outlaws, Oh You Didn't Know by Jim Johnston. Uh, um, I don't know how to do that. You don't. Your ass better come. Oh. New Age Outlaws theme song is a classic meme nowadays. It is, but I feel like Triple H is entrance with motorhead kind of rocked my ass off when it first came when he first did it so i'm gonna yeah. go by how i first reacted when motorhead actually played it at pay-per-view yeah, yeah that was amazing yes and so and that was my first time hearing his entrance for that so yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna go triple h uh that's probably one of my top favorites to be quite honest with you one of my top favorites oh there's a reason it's number three but no what that was number three yep 
Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I don't disagree. <laughs> well, this next one is another Attitude Era throwback matchup, yeah. and it's number two, Undertaker's Rest in Peace by Jim Johnston versus number 17, Mr. McMahon's No Chance in Hell by Jim Johnston and Peter Berserker. I would love to maybe do, you know, a little love to Mr. McMahon, but no. I'm I'm not going to. It's going to be a rest in peace for Undertaker for me. It's it's all about the uh, memories it brings up for me and hearing it. So, mm-hmm. again, just like the Triple H one, it reminds me of when I very first heard it. And I remember hearing The Undertaker and my dad and I just really getting into wrestling. So, I'm going to go with that one. I mean, I can't count the number of times as a child I got down on one knee and put my hand up to that fucking theme song. So... Yeah, or like I just would get excited, but yeah, I'd be scared because like I was I was awkwardly shy at that age. So I was like kind of getting out of my shell, I guess you could say to a point. My dad was working on that with me. And um I would get excited wrestling around the house and have fun. The Undertaker intimidated the shit out of me, but also like I was in awe. So my dad noticed that that I would watch a lot of Macho Man and I didn't mind Hulk Hogan. I was a good fan of Hulk Hogan too, but those three were my ones I watched with my dad the most. So, Undertaker. Well, that means it's a classic attitude error matchup in the next in the next round too, because Triple H is going to face Undertaker. Oh yeah. Okay. But that means the next matchup is number one ranked Stone yeah. Cold Stone Cold's "I Won't Do What You Tell Me" by Jim Johnston versus number sixteen. Macho Man Randy Savage's Pomp and Circumstance by Jimmy Hart and Howard Hell. Yeah, I was playing Pomp and Circumstance just now just to, you know, revisit that with my memory. And Macho Man, I mean, as much as I am a Macho Man fan, it's got to be Stone Cold. As expected, because who doesn't love Stone Cold's fucking theme song? It's the most iconic well, sound you, ever. Yeah. Because you know what? Things are about to get wild now. I think of it as a as a comedy show with wrestling, because he really shouldn't be wrestling anymore. I love yeah. him, though. <laughs> well, that means you have two more playing matchups to determine the last matchup on this quarter of round one. Okay. And the first one is number 32, Vader's Mastodon by Jim Johnston versus number 31, Gangrel and the Broods, Blood by Jim Johnston. Um, wow, fuck you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Gangrel the Brood to me is more of a horror movie and different type of entrance and they do a good job with their entrance but mastodon gets me yeah i get that gonna do that oof damn and the original gang growls made made it far as fuck (laughs) yeah he beat out he beat out he beat out Stone Cold in the second round Um, we are you going by our old one we did a long time ago we're, yeah, we're going by the group one. Well, I mean, that's what I go by, but... Well, I was going to say, no, like, I remember doing wrestling entrances on, I don't know what podcast we did it with or whatever, but we've done it before, and that did go a long ways. I just, I don't know something about the Mastodon one. And... Yeah, I don't know. Pop, Freddie says, Pop and Circumstance is one of the best intro songs ever. Um, might, be, might be Chansey, I'm not sure. I uh, maybe, it. but at the same time... It went right up against Stone Cold, like right away, right away. There was no room for it to breathe. Whoever nope. you are, Facebook user, I love you. <laughs> but there's no room for it to breathe on that first one. <laughs> it's done. Well, to see who's facing Vader in round one, it's either 33, Drew McIntyre's Broken Dreams by Jim Johnston and Shaman's Harvest. Shaman's Harvest. Harvest, whatever. And number 15, versus number 15, Ultimate Warriors Unstable by Jim Johnston. 
Um, I'm going to be kind of a twa on this one. I am going to give it to Broken Dreams because I'm a, I'm a fan of Drew McIntyre over the last like little while wise. Like it's been brewing for a little while. Matt's got me interested in him, but um, my friend's band is Shaman's Harvest. So I'm going to kind of vote for my friend's band. <laughs> well, that means that Drew, Drew Mac that means that you're going to have Shaman's Harvest versus Vader's theme song in round one. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'm going to vote for that again. <laughs> I actually well, do like that one better than the than the Vader song, but um, yeah, I'm gonna have a hard time voting against my friend's band because <laughs> uh, it is well, a good song and it's a good wrestler. Damn it, it's, it was a good. I, I couldn't have asked for a better pair up. Like my luck would be, my friend would have like the worst like band or worst wrestler ever, and I would never hear their entrance song, but I could actually hear it. So well. Your friend fans could be facing Stone Cold in round two, but oh yeah, that's gonna be great. <laughs> but that means we get to move to the last part of round one, the bottom half of this side. And the first matchup is number 57, Mankind's Wrecked by Jim Johnston, versus number 43, Hulk Hogan's Voodoo Child by Jimi Hendrix. Okay. Whoa, I need to catch up to where we were at. Um, you said wreck and yep. Voodoo Child. Yep. I like Voodoo Child as a song, but I think I like Wreck a little better as an entrance. It's classic. You give it to Wreck. It is well, classic. So it's a good a good guitar riff to a classic clap that gets the crowd into it yep. and then into a beat. So, yeah, I'm going to give it to Rex for sure on that. Which means Rex can be facing a wrestler versus their own stable matchup. And oh, boy. Num number 56, Ahmed Johnson's Pro River Rip by Jim Johnston versus number 42, Nation of Domination's Power by Jim Johnston. Um, okay, Nation of Domination. I, I have to. Power. Yep, because we are the nation. Yeah, there's just something about that it, that actually does get someone revved up for whatever the match is with them involved. Um, the other song is not bad. It just doesn't have that right kind of wrestling upbeat that I would expect. Yeah, I guess you I could agree. say. And that means we're going to have Nation of Domination facing Mankind in round two. But okay. The next matchup is a, a battle of very similar tag teams. It's yeah. number, 50, number 55, Demolitions, Demolition by Jimmy Hart, J.J. McGuire, and Rick Derringer versus number 41, Legion of Doom and Road Warriors, What a Rush by Jimmy Hart and J.J. McGuire. I'm going to give it to Demolition. Yeah, Ooh. we're giving it to Demolition. I, ca I don't know. I like that one. It is more, to be honest, like just playing it right now, it's got like an 80s banger type of vibe and entrance like you could walk into it with like an attitude <laughs> I just like it because it reminds me of an 80s hair band too so I expect to see like a lot of hair from the band playing it <laughs> yeah I get it I get it get but it that means demolition is gonna be facing either number 54 Owen Hart's King of Hearts slash high energy by Jimmy Hart and JJ McGuire or number 40, AJ Styles, I am. And just a heads up, AJ Styles is not on. The it wasn't Spotify. on here. I, can't, um, I couldn't find it on Spotify. But. Okay, well, then I just need to write that down for. All right, AJ Styles versus Owen Hart. I think Owen Hart sounds very, very cheesy. So I'm going to go with I am. 
So AJ Styles would face Demolition in a match that never would happen in real life in the next match. <laughs> right? But that means that this next matchup, which is eh, might be a tough one, is number 53, DDP, Diamond, Do- Diamond Dallas Pages, Self High Five by Dimasic. Versus number 39, Kane Slow Chemical by Finger 11. I'm, I don't know. I'm listening to Finger 11 again here. I don't think I like it for more than the wannabe Halloween sounds. Hmm, yeah, I do. Okay. It, it, it's a banger once I it do. hits the fucking metal part. Okay, slow chemical. Never mind. That makes more sense. I just had to, I didn't remember what that song was like at all. Like Diamond Dallas Pages isn't bad, but mm. just because it's got I don't know, it's got that early 2000s like guitar riff and chord. But damn yeah. it, that was a good one too. That's kind of dumb. That's a good matchup right away, so that's not fair. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, well, Kane's Finger 11 made it far in the original because of the joke that went went along with it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Okay. Stranger Things joke. but Oh, okay. See, I don't know that joke. <laughs> I don't know Stranger Things, so okay. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I'm we sorry. I got to get hip with it with my shows. <laughs> it's, and uh, well, we, we won't go into this show. I'm sure Freddie remembers and Chansey. But it's it's number fifty next. It's gonna face either number fifty-two, D'Lo Brown's "The Real Deal" by Jim Johnston, versus number thirty-eight, "Taz's Survive." Is what? That's not on here. No, it is. Thirteen Taz, you mean? Yep. No, Sorry. it's survive. It's survive. It's a different. Oh, no, it is different. Taz is 13 in a little bit. Okay. Well, I guess I don't know what one that is. It's not on here, is it? Uh, it should have been. Because the there's the dark side. Oh, no. So okay, that no. must be what that is. This, this no, this this side had four songs that were on Spotify, and that's one of them. What's this one, then? What was this again? The Real um, Deal versus Survive. Survive. And who survive. was that? Survive as Taz is. The real deal is D'Lo Browns. Um, I'm going to go with Taz because if it's anything like the other ones that I've heard him co- go out to, I like his better than the other. And yeah, that, I'm good on that. That brings, yeah. you down to the, that brings you down to the last full match in round one before we do the last two play-ins. Yeah. And it's number 51. Undertaker's Dark Side by Jim Johnston versus another song that's not on Spotify. Thirty number thirty-seven, Hardcore and Crash Holly's Slow Death. Slow Death, and who was that for? That's Hardcore and Crash Holly's theme song. Hardcore and Crash. Uh, who are they? Hardcore <laughs> Holly and Crash Holly. <laughs> Crash Holly. Yeah, I remember that. Um. Dark side, dark side. That's Undertaker. Dark side. I, don't, I mean, there's not a whole lot of difference to a lot of Undertaker songs, but dark side. And the dark side wins this one and moves on. The first playing matchup you did, the, the first of the final two playing matchups, is number sixty-seven, RVD Rob Van Dam's "One of a Kind" by Breaking Point. Versus number 71, Taz is 13 by Jim Johnston. Um, let's see. I'm listening to 13 since I didn't hear this part of the list. Um, interesting. Not bad. Let's see here. Kind of like in Robin Dams. One of a kind. Yeah, it's classic. 
Yeah, that's good. I mean, I like the other one because it goes into like an 80s hair band type of thing. Don't get me yeah. wrong. So I can't knock that. But this is going against like a rock song that instantly it's got a light show to go with the beat that brings the beat from this level to this level like fairly easily. So I can't, I got to go with one of the kind. And your final play in matchup of the night is either number 68, Ken Shamrock's The Ultimate by Jim Johnston, or number 71, Lita's It Just Feels Right by Jim Johnston. Um, Lita is the only diva that has a theme song on this. Yeah. Bring it out there. Um... So it just feels right to vote for her. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not saying she's going to make it far anyway, but still. Can't say it's, it will, but I mean, it's... What? It's already going up against one of a kind because those were both play-ins. Exactly. So that is your next matchup. Damn one it. of a kind versus just feels right. I mean, I, I fucking like it feels right, though. I really actually do. I like that song. But it's already going against a good one. I mean, the the choices are only going to get harder, so I don't know why I'm bitching. Um, RVD. Uh -oh. <laughs> Which means Rob Van Dam will face Undertaker in round two. And I believe that means that three of Undertaker's out of four of his theme songs in this whole bracket made to round two. So, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you got a lot. It didn't happen in yeah. the original. Yeah, it seems it seems it seems so legendary. They're always going to make it to the end. So, oh man. Well, that means it's officially time to start round two. Wow. Okay. And we're going back up to the top left for this one, and it's number twenty nine, Batista's "I Walk Alone" by Saliva, versus number thirteen, Triple H and China's "My Time" by Jim Johnston. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see if I like this Batista one better. Yeah, I do. We're going to go with um, I Walk Alone. Ugh. All right. And that means it's going to be facing either number 12 Rick Flair's also Sprock Zalathrusta by Richard Strauss. <laughs> Sorry. Versus, yeah, I do a good job of that, I know. You but do. Versus, you really do. But I'm just saying that's so much to say. <laughs> versus number 11, Edges Metalingus by Alter Bridge. Yeah. Um, personally... Metalingus. Metalingus at me then. Uh. And that means Batista will face Edge in a metal face off in the quarterfinals. Okay. And that means that the next matchup is number 10 Chris Jericho's Break the Walls Down by Jim Johnston. Versus number 24, Brock Lesnar's Next Big Thing by Jim Johnson. Um, I'm going to go with, what was the name of Brock Lesnar's song, though? Was it? Next Big name? Thing. Next, Next Big, Big Thing? thing. <clears throat> I didn't write it down. That's why I was asking. Next Big Thing. I'm going to go with Brock Lesnar, to be honest. Yeah, it's a good choice. Yeah, I don't know. Something about it. He hypes me up. It's kind. Of, it's kind of like it's kind of like that ultimate theme song, where like the whole like. Yeah, I it's, it's rock. like when Matt I never, and I, I never, went, went. it was like we heard it and we're like, "This is why we're here." Besides me hearing Bianca, which he wasn't in the seat for that moment, which was really effing annoying because at home I'm a, an asshole. When Bianca's comes on, because I'm doing the whole like twirl and everything, 
I'm huge into it. And then he, he loves his entrances, but he's a Brock fan too. So and hearing that person, Brock Lesnar. Oh, oh, I yeah, I went to a few of our shows that Brock Lesnar was on back in the day. I remember when he first fucking pre- premiered on, on WWF back in the day. He was fucking... Uh, I didn't like him then. I don't like him now, but still. <laughs> right, I yeah. I haven't heard from him much, I've noticed lately. So, you know, well, we'll see. It, it wasn't him I didn't like. It was the personality they made him play I didn't right like but yeah i, I brock agree Lesnar, brock lesnar's gonna be facing either number 23 evolutions lying in the sand by motorhead or number 30 cm punk's cult of personality by living color um so lying in the sand did we have that on the list yes we did we did there it is um, it's Motorhead. That's the part, though. And it's Living Color. That's the other part, though. <laughs> I know. It's Chance not, is not watching. It's not the but better Motorhead song either. What? I said, Chance is not watching, but I'd love to know what he would pick in this circumstance. Right. I am going to go with, um... Cult of personality. All right. So CM Punk will face Brock Lesnar in a very real matchup that happened in real life a bunch of times in the next round. <laughs> Which means that we are going to the quarterfinals. I mean, we're going to round the next part of round two in the bottom left. And it's going to get started off with Undertaker's at number 50, American Badass by Kid Rock. Versus number 63, The Undertaker's The Dead Man by Jim Johnston. <laughs> um, not doing that one. I'm going to probably go ahead and go with American Badass on this one. I don't blame you. There's a reason The Dead Man was his most short-lived theme song. Ever. It was short-lived and dead. <laughs> dead right away. <laughs> they, they realized right away what a failure that was. But... That means that it's going to face either Seamus's Written in My Face by Jim Johnson and Sean Jennis versus number 47, Chris Benoit's Whatever by Our Lady Peace. I, I feel like I get more hyped up with um, Chris Benoit's. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do that one. Whatever. Which means Chris Benoit will face Undertaker in round two. For the next matchup, ooh, it's going to be a hard one. And it's Christian's at number 60, Blood Brother by Jim Johnson versus number 45, Rob Van Dam's Walk by Pantera. Right? Um... That was actually a good one written for him. A WWE original. I'm going to go ahead and go with Blood Brother. All right. And it's going to be facing either number 44, Jack Swagger's Get On Your Knees by Age Against the Machine, or number 65, Coco Beware's Do the Bird by Jimmy Hart and J.D. McGuire. Do I keep voting for something that makes me sound like I'm winning a game show uh, opportunity and feel cheesy, or do I go with Rage Against the Machine, where I feel or Age Against the, ma- the Machine? Sorry, <laughs> Age Against the Machine. I know. I, 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 I keep wanting to say Rage. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Or do I want to go for something that makes me want to get up and do something about it? But in this case, it'd be get on your knees because it's the song. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm gonna go with get on your knees. I am yeah. yipping. Which means that you have finished half a round two. And that means you're gonna be going to the other side of round two on the top, right? And the yeah, matchup, man, you got it loaded. Let's go. Oh, it is loaded because the first matchup is number seven versus number six. 
It's Bret Hart's The Hitman by Jimmy Hart and J.J. McGuire versus The Rock's Know Your Role by Jim Johnston. <laughs> oh, that's kind of dumb. Um, is I kind of like Bret's. I don't know. This is this is a good one, I guess you can say. Um, I'm gonna go with know your role, and you better know your role because the next matchup's even harder. And it's number twenty versus number nineteen. It's Edges. You think you know me by Jim Johnston versus Hardy Boys Loaded by Zach Tempest. Let me pull up You Think You Know Me just so I can get the feel of that one again. That one's on the second list, isn't it? It's on It's on the first list. But first or, list. Uh, but um, it's, just, yeah, it's still it the same theme song he uses today, except he adds that one line in the beginning. Well... I don't really get that hyped for Edge, though. That's the only thing. I guess I kind of do for the Hardy Boys because I like them. I like the Hardy Boys. Um, but I don't remember the Hardy Boys song like at all. That's the only thing. It was kind of rocky. I mean, the whole finger banging thing, they did kind of went with it. The what? The finger banging thing, though. Oh, bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Well, I was like, what are you talking about? Hardy Boys entrance. Come on. I just want to see what that one sounds like. Because. You can blame Zach I, Tempest for that not being on Spotify. but Huh? I said, I said you could blame Zach Tempest for that not being on Spotify. but Like, is he, he owns it, right? Uh, either here or the Hardy Boys do. I don't know. I'm going to go Hardy Boys. I can't not. It means The Rock will be facing the Hardy Boys in the next round, which I don't think that match, <laughs> I don't think that, I don't think that match will ever happen in real life. But No, yeah. but ouch. I did that to myself, not even thinking. <laughs> Well, these next two matchups you did to yourself as well. Uh -huh. and the next matchup is number three versus number two. It's Triple H's The Game by Motorhead versus The Undertaker's Rest in Peace by Jim Johnston. Uh, this is dumb. <laughs> I can't share our stream right now, can I? Uh, you should be able to. I don't know. Should you would um, think? It, once you go live, I don't know if you can. But oh, okay. Well, here's my thing. Really liked that damn entrance by the game, or the game by for Triple H. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it. Triple H taking this. Yes. <laughs> Well, that means Triple H is here facing number one ranked Stone Cold's I Won't Do What You Tell Me by Jim Johnston. Or number 33, Drew McIntyre's Broken Dreams by Jim Johnston and Shaman's Harvest. Yes. Uh, let's see here. <sighs> Damn it. I am going to go with the fact that I like the wrestler, I like the song, and I really love the band because um, I love the entrance. I like the song. I don't like the wrestler for Stone Cold. So we're going to go with Broken Dreams. All right. So Triple H will face Drew McIntyre in the next round. But that is going to bring us to the bottom right last part of round two. You're getting close to the end here. Quarterfiles are slowly creeping up on you. Oh, boy. So, 
it's going to be in the first matchup, number 57, Mankind's Wreck by Jim Johnston versus number 42, Nation of Domination Power by Jim Johnston. Okay, so we did Wreck. It was called Wreck. I remember that. Sorry. Um, I really liked Wreck, to be quite honest with you. So... I'm going to give it to Wreck. And that means that Wreck is going to face either number 55, Demolitions, Demolition by Jimmy Hart, J.J. McGuire, and Rick Derringer, versus number four, or number 40, AJ Styles, I am. And remember, AJ Styles was not in the Spotify list. Right. So I'd have to look him up differently just to make sure of what I'm farting with here. Um, Let's see. It'll play. I don't know. I really like it. Yes. Okay. I am going to go ahead and vote. I am. I am going to do that. <laughs> I am. Oh, you, you made Mankind face AJ Styles in the quarterfinals. But yeah, next, <laughs> the next match, the next matchup is number 39, Kane Slow Chemical by Finger 11 versus number 38, Taz Survive. No, I'm going Slow Chemical. And who you, you could have a certain matchup here in the quarterfinals if this goes one way, but. It's number 51, Undertaker's Dark Side by Jim Johnston, versus number 67, Rob Van Dam's One of a Kind by Breaking Point. Um, one of a Kind. I I think I'm, yeah, I'm going to do One of a Kind. Which means that you just finished off round two completely. And now you get to go into the even. You get to go into the even harder quarterfinals. Ooh. Okay, got it. And the quarterfinals are going to start in the top left, of course. And your first matchup is number twenty-nine, Batista's "I Walk Alone" by Saliva, versus number eleven, Edge's "Metalingus" by Alter Bridge. I like those songs a lot. Probably get a little more pumped up for Metalingus, to be honest. I don't know why I just had a hesitation to want to vote for Edge. Like, there's, no, I don't have a problem with Edge. I just, yeah, I'm going to go with Metalingus because that does get me more hyped up. So It was an amazing song, so yeah. Yeah. But your other your other quarterfile matchup in this part is number twenty four, Brock Lesnar's next big thing by Jim Johnston versus number thirty, CM Punk's Cult of Personality by Living Color. Um next big thing. I'll do it. Next big thing, Brock Lesnar. So it's going to be Brock Lesnar versus Edge in the semifinals for this part. Okay. Which brings you down to the next part of the quarterfinals. And it's going to be number 50, Undertaker's American Badass by Kid Rock versus number 47, Chris Benoit's Whatever by Our Lady Peace. Not that it's because I don't like Kid Rock very much. I don't mind him. He's not the best live. Does good songs. American Badass is a good song. Undertaker is a great wrestler. He's had a lot, a lot of entrances. I'm going to give it to whatever. Because it kind of does a different build up. So I'm going to give it to that one. Well, 
whatever, is going to be is going to be facing one of these two songs in the in the semifinals. It's either going to be number sixty, Christian's Blood Brother by Jim Johnson, or number forty-four, Jack Swagger's Get on Your Knees by Age Against the Machine. I'm I'm probably going to go ahead and keep it Blood Brother. To be honest with you. Well. You eliminated Gangrel in the freaking play-in, but I'm happy one of the versions of that theme song are going along. Yeah. I know so you mentioned means- it and everything, but it's just... Mm, uh, it's kind of funny. I still got Edge and Christian within this, so this could be fun. <laughs> it could be, but they face each other, they wouldn't face each other into the grand finale if they won each side right. completely. Right. But exactly. We'll see. That means Christian Wall is going to face Christian in... in uh, the semifinals for that quadrant. Yep. Moving back up to the other side of the board, the first matchup is number six, The Rocks Know Your Role by Jim Johnston versus number 19, Hardy Boys Loaded by Zach Tempest. Um, okay, this is going against probably what most people would want, want me to vote for. I'm going to go with Loaded. Hardy Boys. I like it a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, The Rocks was, eh. It got better once they got rid of the whole Know Your Roll part and just did the music. Right. But that means that the Hardy Boys are going to be facing either number three, Triple H is the Game by Motorhead, versus number three, or number 33, Drew McIntyre's Broken Dreams by Jim Johnston and Shaman's Harvest. Okay. Um, this is a shitty deal. Is he the, Triple H doesn't keep this song as his entrance from here on out, though. Yeah, right? he does. He does? I thought he had a rendition of it. Oh, I think, yeah, so, it might became it might became King of Kings. Yeah. That's probably what I was thinking of. Um, Trying to debate if I want that lead up to it. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I'm giving it to Triple H. I'm giving it to the game. And you vote your friends out. but I did. I did. Sorry, guys. <laughs> And that means it's going to be Hardy Boys versus Triple H in their semifinals for this quadrant. Yeah. And the next quadrant begins as number 57, Man- Mankind's Wreck by Jim Johnston versus number 40, AJ Styles, I Am. Feel like Wreck, <clears throat> Mankind's Wreck, is more of like your old school traditional get the crowd together get you you know hyped up get them into the ring i am is just a good damn good song aj's got his own way of coming out recognizing recognizing all that he has up there does a little thing i don't always like old school and traditional i feel like i am is a little bit more uh, versatile. So, I am. Which means AJ Styles moves on to face the last matchup in the quarterfinals. Either K- three, number 39, Kane's Slow Chemical by Finger 11, or number 67, Rob Van Dam's One of a Kind by Breaking Point. Damn it. I no one of a kind. It's one of a kind. Ooh. And with that, your quarterfinals are complete, a hundred percent. And you're going to make it to the semifinals. Woo! There you. Go. Damn. The semifinals, the rest of this is going to go by damn fast, like always. So, 
get ready. You literally have about eight matches left. So it's the first semifinal matchup, though, is number 11, Jith Metalingus by Alter Bridge versus number 24, Brock Lesnar's next big thing by Jim Johnson. Um, more of a song to the entrance, more of an entrance with the song all around. It's Metalingus. I'm happy to see Brock Lesnar go. <laughs> bye bye, Brock. Bye bye, Shanna. Your ass will stop being at you now. Just saying, but <laughs> and on the bottom half of this side of the semifinals. It's number 47, Chris Benoit's Whatever by Our Lady Peace versus number 60, Christian Blood Brother by Jim Johnston. It's a Canadian battle here. I really don't know on this one. Hold on a second here. I keep going back to whatever. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Whatever. And whatever is right, because it's moving on. And oof. now it's time to see what's going to be facing those two in the other side of the semifinals. And this first matchup, you're going to fucking hate. But you made it. <laughs> it's either 19, Hardy Boys Loaded by Zach Tempest. Or number three, Triple H is the game by Motorhead. Well, let me see. I'm. Uh, the game. Ooh, which means the game moves into the finals on this side to face Edge. And that means that the Hardy Boys will go into the third and fourth place battle on this side to face uh, Brock Lesnar. But the last semifinals matchup is number f third and fourth place. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> and. The final semi, the final semifinals matchup for the whole bracket is number forty, AJ Styles, I am versus number sixty-seven, Rob Van Dam's One of a Kind by Breaking Point. Um, one last time on One of a Kind. I just want to see how it feels. Mm, where was that? Oh, there it is. Feel like it's gonna probably be that. It's more of a memorable song, so I mean, it really is. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to one of a kind. Oh. That means that it is officially over for the semifinals, and that you are going into the finals at this point. Well. Actually, I take that back. You are going into the third and fourth, the two third and fourth place matches for each side. And it's going to be for the first third and fourth place match. Either Brock Lesnar's next big thing by Jim Johnston or the Hardy Boys loaded by Zach Tempest. Oh, Hardy Boys. Easy decision there. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For me, yeah. At that point, I probably kept Brock Lesnar in there a little too long, but that's okay. Well, that's what Paul said, but. That, that's, that, that's my house, Brock Lesnar, walking up on my ass right now in his Brock Lesnar shirt. <laughs> Flipping <laughs> us off. Well, that means your other third and fourth place match is number 47. First Ben was whatever by Our Lady Peace. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. That's not third or fourth place. 
It's number 60, Christian's Blood Brother by Jim Johnston versus number 40, AJ Styles' I Am. So between them two, it's another third, fourth place? Yep. Um, Let's go AJ Styles, the other third place. Which makes Blood Brother get the other fourth place, and it made it a lot further than it did in the original, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. But but that means that now you get to do your two final matchups for each side before you decide the grand winner. And the, the top finals are either number 11, Edges Metalingus by Alter Bridge, or number three, Mr. Pointers the Game by Motorhead. Oh, we're doing those two against each other? That That's your finals in the top half. On the top half. Okay. Um, these two against each other, I am going to go Triple H. Which means Triple H gets first place for the top half, and we'll go on to the grand finale. Yeah. And actually, that also means that Edge will go on to the third and fourth place for the whole thing. Okay. But now to decide your bottom finals, and yeah. that's going to be that's going to be forty-seven. Chris Benoit's whatever by Our Lady Peace or sixty-seven. Rob Van da- Rob Van Dam's One of a Kind by Breaking Point. It's a metal matchup. Right. Um. This is kind of a hard one. That's what she said. <laughs> I was gonna ask the other half, but he went to the other room. Oh man. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I'll I'll vote whatever. Whatever went first place on that side. Yeah, whatever. I do what I want. Do whatever I do what I want. Which means that it's going to be for the grand finale, Triple H versus Chris Benoit. But first, the third and fourth place for the grand winners of all this is either, is either number. It's either number eleven, Edges Metalingus by Alter Bridge, or number sixty-seven, RVD's One of a Kind by Breaking Point. This is where I'm going to go. Third overall goes to RVD. Which means Edge gets fourth place overall. And finally, finally, the grand winner is either going to be number three, Triple H is the Game by Motorhead, or 47, Chris Benoit's Whatever by Our Lady Peace. A 44, uh, a 44 difference in ranking in these in this bow, folks. What and so Triple H was what number again? Three. Three. Number three. I never wrote that down. Um, versus number 40 something, you said, right? 47. 47. Number 47. Um the game. That's it, the game. Well, it's time to play the game, folks, and it's game over because Triple H has won the grand finale of all this and has become the ultimate winner, followed by Chris Benoit's whatever, then by RVD's one of a kind, then by Edge's Metalingus. It's basically, I should have known with Jamie, but it's basically a who's who of metal theme songs in wrestling. I should have saw that coming. I mean, but how we got here was a really weird ride, so... Oh, it was a hundred percent, almost 100% different voting route than uh, the original bracket took. So oh, I yeah. Enjoyed- Honestly, anytime I've done the ones before, this I don't think this is anything close to what I have voted 
period. So I bet you when I share any of my stuff here <laughs> with the other half, he's going to be like, what the F is wrong with you? <laughs> well, it's all good, though. I have fun. Play him some songs and maybe change his mind on a few things. But Oh, boy. <laughs> and that sounded dirtier than I went to, and it actually me at that time. But <laughs> Jamie, before we go, tell them where they can find you. Well, you can find me on all your regular social media outlets. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, um, that thing called X or Twitter or whatever. I'm on there kind of. Um, not on TikTok very much. I mean, I have one out there. I'm my name is Jamie. It's under that or Slipknot Chica, Slipknot Chica 17. And you can find me on Bracket Bastards. We just hit our 100th episode. So that is just um, being released this week. We recorded it last week. So you can always catch our lives weekly or um, hit us up on Spotify. We need to get those followers back up there again. So let's, um, let's start recruiting some bastards like we used to. Let's go. <laughs> That's right, folks. And this was one hell of a one-on-one -on -one bracket an hour and a half later. Almost and actually, that's how long I predicted it was gonna take. And I was damn I was almost dead on. So there we go. I hell agree. yeah, and I didn't know we were doing two and one. So that's really I sent you two, I sent you two playlists. I figured you would have assumed it. I didn't see the second one. That's the funny part about uh, the whole thing. So that was my bad. <laughs> well, folks, and don't forget, you can see Jamie. Next week, doing I don't know what fucking bracket she's doing next. Oh, uh, horror movies, right? Horror movies, horror so, movies, yes, because the other ones were going to be too interesting for me to research. <laughs> oh, yeah, but she's gonna be doing the horror movie bracket next week on Paranormal New Normal, so be sure to check that out in the, most of the same streaming places at the same streaming time. But yeah. you, of course, can find your musers, even though one was missing for most of tonight, but you can find us on Facebook as the Uncensored, Unapologetic, and Untamed UQ Podcast Collective Facebook group, where this streams and all my shows stream. All you got to do is join and you can watch. And it's free to join as of now. But you can also find us on Twitter and the Gram, or X in the Gram, whatever you want to call it. I prefer not to take Gram X, but we'll see. And you can find us on X in the Gram as that Juggalo Bastard. You can follow us on TikTok hey, as that Juggalo Best Podcast, and I will be pulling some clips from our recent Rolling Stone bracket put up there pretty soon. And you could find us on YouTube as Maniacal Music Music, where our old episodes are stored. Or you could find us live streaming on Blind Knowledge Network. Because all knowledge is blind until Chansey admits I am Val Venus with gigantic penis. And we will catch you. We will catch you all next time. Be sure to check out the show this week. It's a rap battle for the ages. Peace out. <laughs>